Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to do a collective haul and I have spent so much money, it's ridiculous. But I have stuff from when I was in London, which if you haven't watched my London vlog, I will link it below. And then I have other things that I just probably shouldn't have bought, but I did anyway. And I'm also filming on my new camera, so I don't know, this quality could be a lot better. It could be worse, I don't know. It was more expensive, so surely it should be better. But yeah, without further ado, I will just get into the video. So I have a mixture of some makeup, of clothes, and shoes, and that's it really. So I'm just gonna start off with the makeup because it's sitting right here and it's, it was actually sitting here and it's really annoying. So I'm just gonna start with the makeup stuff. So the first thing is a pretty boring thing. It's a repurchase of the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. So if you've never heard of this powder, I don't know where you've been living, it is the best powder in the world. And I was just running low and there was like student discount on House of Fraser. So I just thought, you know, I'll just get it. Then also in that exact same order, I got the lipstick that I'm wearing today. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. Now, if you know me, you know that my favourite nude combo is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner and Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW Lipstick. It's one of the hot lips lipsticks. So this is Pillow Talk. And yeah, like I said, I have it on my lip today. It's very comfortable. I don't really have anything else to say about it other than they taste amazing. And I just love the scent of them. Like they smell and taste and look so luxurious and also the price point will tell you that. Next is Debnams. I also placed an order online. Oops. But I did try to get this foundation whenever I was in London but it sold out and I actually found out that the reason behind that is that this is Kim Kardashian's shade which is hilarious that people would just go out and buy it even if it's not their colour but I suppose it probably is a lot of people's colour because it's really yellow and that's just perfect for fake tan. So it is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in the shade Y325 which is also 118 in the liquid version and yeah I have it on today well I have it on today mixed with a lighter foundation because I have no tan on but I really really like this foundation and I'm so glad that I have it again in my life because I was like not using it for so long because I knew I had so little of it and that it was never in stock. I just didn't really know the reason for it. But I'm also thinking about getting the shade Y365 just so that when I'm wearing tan I can wear it because it is just slightly too light for me whenever I have like a fresh, fresh, fresh fake tan on. In that same order I got the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Junk Show which is pink. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to use this or if I'm going to use this, but it is just gorgeous. I don't know if it's going to focus in on it. You can see it there. It is just this beautiful pink and I'll swatch it for you now. So I actually already have two of these glitter liners. I have Midnight Cowboy and also Distortion and Distortion I love and um, actually Midnight Cowboy as well, but that is Junk Show right there. So I just think, I don't know, I just really, really like it and focus, okay. Okay, so this camera's taking a, a while to focus, but we're, we're just gonna keep going. So in Debenhams, actually in London, I got the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, just in the shade Tripper, which if you have never seen this before, it is just like a pen liner. I just wanted it for a long time, and then I thought, frig it. I'll just get it. <laughs> and then another thing that I got in London, I got the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in the shade 7.5. This is the most yellow foundation that I've ever, ever come across in my life, but it just means it's gonna be really good whenever you're wearing tan. And normally people get the shades 6 and 12 and mixed together, but this is like 32.50. So I just saw it like kind of go in the middle, then I would have to mix the two. I know, and also the girl actually matched me to the shade so 
yeah. And also the girl who sold me this, Roshin, if you're watching this, she'll remember her makeup was the coolest I've ever seen in my life. And she also complimented my makeup and I was like, thank you. She was like, your makeup looks so fresh. I was like, I love you, take me home. The last, no, it's not the last London purchase. The second last London purchase is this Kiko brush. And it's the only thing I bought Kiko. I know. And it is the 09 brush and it's just really good for bronzer. So I got that. This is gonna be such a long video. Oh my God. Then the last thing that I got, um, I'm probably never gonna use because I thought it was something different than it is. And it is the MUA Luxe Velvet Color Enhanced Lacquer, which is actually, like a primer, which I don't think, it's white. I I thought it was like a white liquid lipstick. Like it says lip base coat on the bottom of it. Um, I thought it was a white liquid lipstick to do like, you know, the whole line thing for the festival makeup. I'll actually see how, I, I think I do remember it being quite pigmented though. So I don't really know how it would work as a primer if it's like white. Yeah, like this is white. It's white. And it also smells like the Barry M lip kits, like the liquid lipsticks in it. So I don't know, maybe it'll work. But if it doesn't, anyway, I got this, which is the LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner Pen in white. And I have not opened this yet. I'm not going to because if I open it and swatch it, this video is going to be way, way, way too long. So I just got this from Beauty Bay and the rest of the stuff that I'm actually going to show you is also from Beauty Bay. I got these two brushes and this one is the Morphe R41, which is just a small like pencil brush. And then I also got the Morphe E28, which I already love. I have used this and yeah, I really, really like it. It's really good for like crease work. Um, you'll probably be able to see it's kind of tapered at the top. And I just really, really like it. So I got that. Then I got these two glitters and they are gorgeous. They are called Festival Face Chunky Festival Glitter. And I got the shades Rose Petal and Cinnamon Toast. So this is Rose Petal. And it's just really, really cool. Yeah, you can see it really clearly there. And then this is this one. This one is the shade Cinnamon Toast. And I do plan to do some, oh my god, focus, focus, there we go. I plan to do some festival looks and I just want to use these. Also, I'm really sorry if I keep looking like slightly above the camera. It's because this camera has a viewfinder and I am just like constantly looking at it. Sorry. And then the last makeup item I got, I have so much clothes to go through. This is terrible. I got the Lily Lashes in Can. Um, they still have the plastic around them. The only reason I got these is because Jamie Genevieve wears them. And who doesn't want to be Jamie Genevieve? Because I know I do. And they're just gorgeous. I love um, the Lily lashes in the style Mykonos. These are just slightly more natural. Um, natural. But they are definitely more natural than making us because they are like really, really full. So that is all the makeup things I got. I'm now going to show you the shoes and then lastly I will move on to the clothes. And I'm pretty sure I've forgotten half the clothes that I've bought. But I'm just going to show you what I remember. So the first pair of shoes I got are actually a pair of courts. And I already have a pair of nude courts. But I wore them in London and I realised like the heel of them... Like this part here is like not there anymore. Um, what do you call that? I suppose it's just getting healed. But then um, they're all scraped and stuff anyway. So I just thought I'll get a new pair because I'm always going to get the right of them. So these are London Rebel. I think it was on ISOS. And I got them in a size 6. And I do not know how much they were. Next is a pair of shoes from Pretty Little Thing. It's another pair of heels. Don't need them. Um, and it is these pair of gold sandals. I've never actually owned a pair of gold sandals, which is kind of weird because how have I gotten 
this far in my life without a pair of heel gold sandals. So I just decided to get these. I think these were like 15 pound or something. So they're probably gonna be really, really crap quality, but they'll do. Like I really don't wear heels that much anyway. So it's not as if I'm gonna to have to be wearing these for like a full day. It's probably just gonna be a night out for a couple of hours. And then the last pair of shoes, oh, it's really bad. Um, is a pair of flats and it's just black sandals and these are from SOS. I'll try to show you what way they would go on your feet. So, oh. so say that is your foot. So there's just a strap across like the toe and then there's like a crisscross strap and then they actually lace up at the back which is probably going to be kind of annoying but I just think black flat sandals like I am going to get loads and loads of wear out of them so yeah that's all the shoes I got now moving on to the clothes so the first thing that I'm going to show you is something that I have already worn hence why it is like on a hanger and all and it is this white shirt from River Island I got it in a size 6 because it is quite oversized and I wore this I've seen that a match and I wore it and then whenever I came home I got curry all over it so this has been washed probably about six or seven times to try and get the curry out and we're pretty sure the curry is out but there's still like kind of bits lingering like there's a tiny wee bit here you probably won't be able to see but yeah there's definitely still a bit of curry in it and it's just like shorter at the front than it is at the back it's quite long at the back um like it does you can see it there and then the sleeves are my favorite part they're like a really really long cuff and then they have these wee like tie things at the side and I just think this is lovely and like I said I have already worn it and loads of people actually commented me on it even though it's only a white shirt. I will just try to pick out my next River Island purchase and this was actually my favourite thing that I got while I was in London. I love these and I have already worn these but I have like a top from Boohoo that I'm going to show you that I just think this like they'll be absolutely perfect with and it's this pair of like palazzo trousers so I got them in a size 6 because I have quite a wee waist and if I got an 8 they would just fall down on me so I got them in a size 6 so they're tight at the top and then they're just wide legged the whole way down and they're that lovely paisley print and like I said they were from River Island and again I don't know the price of any of these stuff because I'm back from London like two weeks and I just I really wanted to record this video but like I've tried my hard hardest not to wear loads of the stuff but it's just been too hard so I have worn those two things. And then this next thing I have also worn but I wore it while I was in London and it is this little crop top bralette thing from Topshop and it's just white and again I think I got this in six. Yeah I got it in six because I have no boobs so I can get away with things that are really really small on my top and it's just a white bralette crop top. I think you can get it in black as well and I just think everybody needs like a staple like that in their wardrobe. I know even with like a, like high-waisted jeans and like uh like a check shirt like open and a pair of heels I think that'll be so cool. And then what I wore that top with is these pair of trousers which I love these. I think I might actually wear them. I'm going next Saturday I'm gonna I think I might wear these with something else I'm going to show you which I don't know where it is it's down there whoops and I'm using this this colour I love them so I wore these the night that we went out in London and I just think they're gorge and they're from Topshop and again I got them in a size 6 because they are high waisted the thing that I plan to wear those trousers with is this bodysuit now I was trying this on last night so it's going to be like Oh, messed up. Oopsies. This looks like underwear. It's not. It is actually a bodysuit. Um, it's it's quite risky. Yeah, it's very risky. It's pretty see-through. Um, it's just this bodysuit, and then at the back, it's like completely open. But then at the bottom, there's this strap, and it's just like I said, a bodysuit. And that is from Pretty Little Thing. And now, how much were you, or what size were you in? Let's see. I got that in a size 8 um, the one thing I will say these bits here 
which go like if you can see actually in the bra that I'm wearing today it's kind of like that but the like lace panel kind of like I don't know it's just not sticking to me so I think I might actually get like double side sticky tape and like stick it just so it's it's kind of loose but it'll be fine I'm actually having real trouble finding stuff to wear this with I think it'd be lovely with just a pair of jeans but I don't want to just wear a pair of jeans out but I think I'll wear it with those purple trousers if I don't find anything else because I do think it'll be nice but I would preferably like a skirt or shorts or something so if anybody knows anything that would go really nice with that bodysuit then please let me know because I am having severe difficulty. Oh this is actually another Rhode Island, no this is another Topshop purchase actually and I love this. It is kind of like a black cami embellished top but then at the back it has like these double spaghetti straps and then this is the back like it's kind of open at the back and um, I think even as well with the purple trousers this would be kind of cool because this is really casual and they're kind of dressy and um, just kind of mix it up and then they have that lovely purple color in it so yes that is from I think it's from Topshop I'm pretty sure I got in a size 10 whoops I definitely don't know this is a size 10 this is gonna be too big in me Oh, that must have said eight in the hanger. Oh well, I got this. <laughs> then we went into the misguided shop, which obviously is great because you get to see all the stuff. And um, although I am an online shopper and I normally just trust my instinct, it is obviously nice to see some things in person. And uh, I got this. This this is love or hate. I still don't really know. I kind of loved it at the start, and then now I'm kind of like, what am I going to wear that with? And it is this like peachy colored bralette crop top and it has all these like tassels on it. And I got this in a size eight. I probably got it on my size six, but there wasn't any. And I just really liked it. I don't know. I, I just think it's pretty. Yes, yeah, so that was from Misguided. I think I probably could pair that with this pair of trousers. And this is so see-through. I am um, so C3 and it's like white trousers and then they flare at the bottom so they're kind of like shorter like higher up your leg at the front and then like lower down your leg at the back if that makes sense and they're just tight they kind of feel a bit of a shit material but anyway they're from pretty little things so they are a pretty shit material <laughs> these are called the Lourdes white asymmetric flare hem trousers and I got them in a size 8 then I think this next thing is also from Pretty Little Thing. Yeah, I got these in a size 8, but the waist is kind of too big on me. And the bottom of them, I wish it was kind of like more cropped. But it is just a pair of black trousers, or jeans, sorry, with like a flared hem. Now, I love the idea of these, but it is just a wee bit annoying. Like the flare kind of just is like right above my ankle so you don't get to see that much of my leg I would kind of prefer it to be like halfway down my shin and the flare be there rather than a full length trouser just with the flare at the bottom if that makes any sense my nose is really itchy but yeah I do need a belt for these so like I haven't worn them yet because I really really need a belt now you will have seen my nose is really red now because I've been rubbing it but you will have seen these pajamas in my London vlog if you watched it because they're my favorite things ever and they're from ASOS like I don't know why I love these so much like my mommy thinks they're so ugly and so does Rebecca but I don't know they're actually quite expensive I think for a pair of pajamas but I just got them in a size 8 so this is the top and it's kind of like a low blouse and it's got short sleeves and then the bottoms are just straight leg trousers and I kind of got them more so for like when I've just done my tan and I'm really warm because I don't like sleeping in shorts when I've just done my tan because then I'm going to get it all over my bed. So I decided to get like long leg trousers even though they're not long sleeve like they still cover enough of your arms anyway. But something that's airy as well so I'm not wearing like fluffy pajamas in bed when I've just done my tan because there's nothing worse. But yeah I just I love them anyway. They're my favorite. And then the last thing. Now, I have I have bought other things since this. Like I have another pair of pajamas that they're wee grey. I actually bought them at the same time as the other ones. They're grey and they have wee clouds on them and then the top has a rainbow. It's 
they're so cute. So I got this top, which I tried on yesterday, so it's probably gonna be inside out. And it is from Boohoo. And this is the thing that I plan to wear with the like trousers from River Island, the like boho kind of style ones. And this is a cropped cream bardo top with these flared sleeves and do you not just think that's so like festival-y with like a big floppy hat and sunglasses or something I just think it'd be really cool I got that in a size 8 oh it's actually Boohoo Petite it comes really short like it is just about covering like your bra so you would really need to wear something quite high-waisted with this which is what I plan to do anyway that is everything I got. I cannot wait to put these clothes away because they've been sitting on the chair that I'm looking at right now for about two weeks and it's just been doing my head in. Actually some of this stuff I have bought probably about a month ago. So this is a collective haul. I did not buy all this, all these things in like one, two or even three sittings, probably in about five or six if not more. And I also have more things coming in the post. Oh also I got two um, places from Pretty Little Thing but that I had planned to feature in this haul but they came and they are absolutely horrendous looking. One of them looks like, you know the material whenever you buy, not that I've done this, but when you buy like a fake wedding dress or something off eBay from China, it's that material. It came smelly and just not good. Not good. And I was planning on wearing it out next Saturday night, which is kind of why I'm in a bit of a pickle now. Even though it's only Thursday, like I still have a week and a few days. But I always just like to be very, very prepared. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you did, then please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.